hello guys welcome to today's tutorial so in this section of tutorial i am going to share 85 very important questions that will definitely help you cracking any selenium interviews okay so i have divided into this questions i have divided into three different models of parts basically one is basic one is intermediate another one is advanced so we'll start with advanced and move forward actually let's quickly see okay before to that i'll, I'll let you mention here i am only discussing the question so that you can prepare well this question and the chances of cracking the interview will be very high okay so let's start actually so in the advanced section there might be questions that are coming to you basically like what are the frameworks you have used and the types of the framework that you have used basically and explain your framework and its flow what are the framework components and tools that you have used okay while developing the framework or working with the framework right how you handle third party tools integration in the framework or have you used uh, in case if you have used any so if you have used any third party integration to third party tool and if you have integrated with your framework you can to mention what it is and how it is used and why it has been used what was the need for that so again next question is what are the design pattern that has been uh, involved in developing the framework okay if you are in the framework development part okay if you are involved in the framework development part and what are the collection apis or oops concept or java concept that you have used while you develop the framework okay and what are the challenges that you have faced while developing the framework can we have parent pom.xml like pom.xml uh, different pom.xml for uh, parent project or and child project like can we have parent pom.xml and child pom.xml and how can we integrate if possible okay so next question is are you using any listeners in your framework if yes if you say yes then what is the purpose of using it guys just i'll pause it for a second actually i like to mention one thing so if you don't know anything okay uh, you can directly say I haven't got the chance of using it or working with this okay it is not no harm to say no okay if you haven't worked on listener if you haven't uh, got the opportunity to develop a framework that's also fine okay if you're a manual guy trying to switch your domain or into automation or you are into a mid-level automation guy you are going to expertise level into going for an interview of extensive automation profile that is also fine you can say anytime no about any question okay so don't be worried about that okay so here i had prepared the question keeping it mind okay all the possible high level low level and every uh, thing that comes to an interview well it is about selenium right okay next question is are you using an, okay we discussed that so how do you check in and check out your code basically right so how you push and pull your code okay what are the tools you're using okay what is the process of that what are the commands you are using so those question actually right so can you handle ajax based application while working with selenium if you say yes then you need to mention how we can handle that and what are the things that are required okay next question is how uh, can you achieve parallel testing what is grid and its components and why it is used okay how it can be beneficial to us okay if at all we need to use it okay what are the unit testing framework or execution engine okay that you are using basically in the framework like test and gjm or all right and why we need the new testing framework right have you worked on with have you worked with ie browser if you say yes then next question will be have you faced any type of challenges if you say yes then what are the type of challenges you have faced and how did you overcome them right what are the build tools ci tool or version control tool you have used okay how you can integrate build tool with unit testing framework what are the different reporting features or what are type of reports that you are currently using with your automation right and people interview can ask you about them okay can you schedule your automation suite execution in certain time or certain day okay in a certain day or in a certain week right so i have a week uh, like in a week i need to run it on a certain day or every every day it has to run two times three times like this so can you do that so using jenkins you can do that right so that's what interview can mean to here right so are you using any build pipeline or you are aware of it okay next question is i'll move on to intermediate section so what are the different annotations are there in testng 
and their functionalities and features. Can you explain the flow of different annotations in TestNG or like order of execution of the annotations? Right. So like there are, there are multiple annotations of the other test, before test, before class. So what is the order that gets executed if you consider all the annotations, right? How can we achieve parallel testing in TestNG? How we run an automation suite in Source Lab? Is it possible to run with Source Lab? Okay. If yes, then how can we do that? Okay. What is TestNG data provided and how to use it? Okay. And why to use it? What is the need for using it? Okay. And what is the written type of the data provider method that you write? Okay. Can we pass data from TestNG XML file? Okay. If yes, how can we pass that? Okay. What is timeout test in TestNG? How to use dependency between test methods and group? Okay. And how can we exclude or include test in a TestNG XML file? Okay. Now, what is WaveDriver? Is it a class? It's an interface or an abstract, or abstract class? Okay. What are the type of interface that you have come across while working with Selenium? Because here, interviewer means that what are the interface you have come across when you are working with selenium like selenium interface it is he is referring or she is referring to right like javascript executor right so we have driver like this what is javascript executor why we use it when it is very much effective when it is very much useful right what are the different cons like disadvantages of selenium are there and how we can overcome those is it possible to do that in which cases it is possible and how right can we validate pdf data while working with automation images barcode capture with selenium okay can we take keyboard input with selenium if you say yes then how okay what are the different weight mechanism that we use in selenium right do you know what is fluent weight okay why it is used or when it we can use it okay have you used maven or ant or gradle what are they actually and what is the difference between maven and ant or what is the difference between ant and gradle or maven and gradle like this right so next question is that might come to you what are the exceptions that you have faced while working with selenium right timeout exception or like no stale element exception like this right have you worked with surefire plugin in maven if yes then why you have used that what is the command mvn clean or compile right what it does what are the different jars uh, where the jars get downloaded when you use maven so basically you write dependency and maven will download the once you run it maven will download the jars for you right and where it will be kept basically okay how can we handle the scenario when a jar which maven is not able to download from the repository so how you can handle the scenario okay how you can integrate that uh, jar external jar how you can integrate that right how can we integrate maven with a ci tool okay what is hard accession what is soft accession what is the difference between close and quit how to upload and download a file with selenium how to run your failed test case without rerunning the suite what is testng failed xml okay how to prioritize okay we are into the basic section uh, previously we are intermediate yeah now we are into basic section how to prioritize your test ng test okay how to open a firefox browser with selenium 3.0 version or plus version latter version of selenium okay basically you have to uh, work mention the command to work with geco driver right so command to open the other browser like chrome ie and all command you have to write the command to close the window different command to get and navigate to url what is the different between, difference between get and navigate command to switch to window and tabs command to handle pop-up and alert commands to uh, work with certificate okay command to mouse over and navigate to menu and submenu right command to work with cookies drag drag and drop scenario right how can you ha handle calendar elements how to work with web table how you can perform double click okay all these commands people might ask you right so command to work with checkbox radio box alert okay command to work with frame how to switch default content basically how to switch to default content command to work with profiles 
like Firefox profiles and all, right? So how to get the current URL and text of an element, right? What is the difference between find element and find elements? What are the different locator finding strategies that we use? Okay, there are eight type of different locator finding strategies are there, right? ID, CSS and all. So what is XPath, why it is useful and when you use it? What are the different approaches that we follow to form XPath? There are parent child mechanism, sibling mechanism, or like we find the XPath with regular expression as well. So that's what he's referring to actually by asking this question, right? Which is faster, XPath, CSS, or ID? How to find the broken links? Okay. Or all the links, right? How to find all the links present in the web page? Or how to find the broken links? Okay. Command to work with drop down, command to perform page scrolling, how to use JavaScript executor. Like what is the difference between explicit weight and ex implicit weight? Difference between before test and before method in test engine? How many test cases do you write per day? Interview interviewer might come up with this question to you basically what are the challenges that you face while writing the script okay so there are two question one is one is uh, while writing the script okay what are the challenges you have faced and while developing the framework if you are developing uh, the framework basically then what are the challenges you have faced while developing the framework the answer will be different for those two right so what are the java concept that you have used while writing the script okay how to zoom in and zoom out within selenium if possible how okay how to get the value of an attribute of any element in selenium and how or like what is the command to start a grid node or hub and how grid works basically right code to work with remote browser how many default browser instance gets available when you register with grid okay like how many default firefox or chrome is available for you to work with in the remote okay can you manipulate the number of maximum browser in the uh, like can you manipulate the number of browser or driver that you can use in grid basically if yes then how okay so guys uh, that's all from the session i believe uh, if you prepare this question well so a huge amount of question or answer you will be ready with basically and the chances of cracking an interview will be much more okay if you do have any question feedback or sessions please put them in the comment box if you do like the video share it with your friends okay and do subscribe to my channel for further subsequent videos thank you and have a nice day